Hi everybody, I'm Julia, this is Julia at Home. This week is a new type of video for me. I'm going to be doing a homeschool plan with me. I'm going to be using my Erin Condren teacher planner um, that I've been using. And I will include a link in the little i button there you can click on to my uh, tour of how I set this up in the fall or end of summer last year. I think this type of planning can be helpful whatever style of homeschool you do. I think it really depends what your personality is and whether you like to plan ahead and how far you like to plan. So I have an overall structure for my year and my terms, um, but then each week I see where we are and plan out each week um, on the weekend before. That way I can be flexible. A couple notes before I start. It is the end of March in the year 2020, in case you're watching this later. Um, I'm in the state of Vermont in the United States, and right now uh, we don't have a shelter in place order, but we are uh, staying at home and social distancing. So that does impact a us a little bit uh, in that usually I, especially um, now that it's spring, I like to get out on Mondays and do a field trip or a nature day. And we're mainly just staying home for right now. And um, I do, my daughter does still have piano lessons, um, but we're doing it on uh, Zoom um, online. So she does a video piano lesson right now. So you will still see that planned in. But otherwise, um, most of our activities are canceled. There's no church today. Um, so that does clear it up a little bit. However, it's also time to start working a bit in the garden. Um, this week, temperatures are really variable between the 30s and the 50s. So um, it's not quite uh, full on go time, but it's coming. And so just personally, I end up pulling back on our work a little bit in the spring so that I, we can spend more time, mainly I can spend more time uh, working on garden stuff. All that being said, I'm going to switch your view and let's start planning. So we are on this week in March, so I've got this open. I actually plan in conjunction with my life planner. So I've already um, started here. I, I kind of do them sort of at the same time, but I like to start by putting the weather in here and any appointments or anything that's scheduled during the week. So you'll see I just have the piano lesson in here and I've got the weather up here and that may inform what we decide to do when. Um, but let me go ahead and the first thing I'm gonna do is put the piano lesson, transfer it into here as well. I'm gonna use, this is one of the older school sticker pads by Erin Condren. I think it might be, it's either last year's or the year before. Um, and I can link that down below for you. You can do this without stickers. Um, my style is generally to use some stickers. I don't, I don't cover the pages in stickers. And I'm trying to find the page I want here. Oh, I like to use these. And I think this week we're going to use this one. Just what I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that here-ish. Um, I know that it's piano. Some of them say meeting. Sometimes I pick, pick a blank one and write piano, but just did that one this week. And that is from 3 p.m. to 3 30. Okay. Um, and I know that that's my oldest daughter. Um, she's the only one taking music lessons right now. She's in first grade. Um, my other two are um, four. Well, he, just, he actually just turned five. Oh my goodness. Um, he's in preschool and um, then I have a baby. So they don't take lessons yet. So then I'm going to use these. Uh, these are Erin Condren dual tip markers. And um, let's see. Oh, that's a dry erase marker. We don't need that. Um, and I did that in purple. So I think I'm going to go with like a purple, blue, pink theme this week. I think that that feels good. So what I like to do is I like to write down at the bottom of each day here um, a space to check off piano and our read aloud um, so that I can just keep track of what days she has practiced piano. Um, and I like to try to stay on top of her because again, she's seven years old. So it doesn't really always, it, it may not happen if I don't remind her. Um, and just to make sure we're staying on top of doing our read aloud in the evenings, which my husband does. So I'm going to do piano. And right now we're reading the second in the Wings of Fire um, series. So I'm just going to write wings there. So yeah, 
I like to make it just a little bit pretty with the colors and the um, with the colors and a little and a few stickers, but it's mostly pretty utilitarian. It's all functional pretty, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it does. Hopefully you can read my handwriting as I write today. Um, it's not great. It is something that I have uh, improved actually over the years, surprisingly. And this last one down here. Okay, and then I'm going to take those same ones. I'm gonna label up here. So I actually usually use these colors for my children. They, um, they're they kind of color coded just in that my daughter's oldest favorite color is pink and my son's is, is blue and I've kind of chosen purple for the baby right now. Her middle name is Violet, so that makes sense to me. Um, and as she, get old, as, as she gets older, if she has a different favorite color, like if she really likes green or yellow or something, I can always, I can always adapt later. Um, but for right now, this is what I do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write there. I usually write their full names, but for right now, I'm just gonna write their first initial because it doesn't really matter. I know who's who. And so that's Kay, she's in first grade. Uh, T is in uh, preschool and G is for the baby. And I will show you what I'm going to put in these later. But So they each get their own column. The baby, we don't write much in this column, but I'll, I'll show you how I, how I do use it. And then this week, I think I'm going to use these same colors and label over here. So this is our morning time column. And this includes um, subjects that I do in morning time. So it actually includes kind of our circle time where we do poems and songs um, that mostly seasonal based poems and songs. And um, I don't actually get to that every day anymore. We used to, um, but we try to do the calendar every day and then circle time is the poems and songs and our gratitude journals as well. And then um, it also includes subjects like artist study, um, our literature book, composer study, Italian. So those all come under that column when we do that. And those, most of those um, don't happen every day. And then we have, um, this one is history and science. And the reason I combined them there is I have been alternating history units and science units. Now we do do, we have been doing a little bit of history during a science unit and a little bit of science or nature during a history unit. But um, overall, it'll it'll mainly be one or the other at a time. And then um, this is kind of my catch-all column here. We'll check. I do art, health, PE, and life skills. So that's how I organize it. Now, let me show you what I do. So. I, again, like to be flexible. I keep these back here and pull these out. Um, these are the air, these are one of the Arian Condren um, snap-in sticky notes. And this is another one, this is the school themed one. This is, I wanna say like triangles or mountains, something like that. That one keeps coming off, I'll have to fix that later. And then I'm gonna grab some of these notes back here. Um, let's see which ones I need. I need, I'm gonna pull out this one and the ancient China, because I know we're still doing that. I'm going to pull out some notes. Um, okay. So I do keep some of my notes in this pocket back here, and then I can pull them out when it's time to plan or if I need to refer to them during the week. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring these up to my tabbed week. Ooh, I'll come back to that. And these are also Aaron Condren um, tabs I, that I can link below if they still have them. Um, I find it really helpful to have the week marked because these obviously have like the, the month, um, the month tabs here, but I just want to go straight to my week. I will fill in things in the month. Um, I did fill in like birthdays and different, um, days. And if we go on field trips, I put those in as well. But again, right now we're not really doing field trips. So I made this little chart for each term. It's kind of based loosely on, Ambleside Online or what Jen McIntosh does, um, but it's it's also flexible, but it also it just helps me make sure 
um, I'm spreading things out appropriately over the weeks. Like sometimes, like I don't want to end up with all three of these on the same week. We're just not going to get to that. So it kind of just helps me plan that out. But things do move around. You can see here, I've already decided <laughs> this week. I had had a lot of things for our ancient China unit that I was trying to cram into two weeks. And I decided it's okay if I don't. I will just push things back a week and we'll finish it up this week and then move to Rome and the Etruscans the following week. And if Rome needs to push back another week at the end, that's fine too. So um, I used this and then I have, um, you can see we, we got to, we actually did get to some of these last, last week that I didn't, I didn't check off um, here. And we did do some of this, but this is actually a collection of stories. So we read some, but not all of them. Um, and I didn't get to, to a lot of these this past week. So, um, that's what I'm gonna to try to fill in for each China this week. I have um, a page here for my artist and composer right now. And so this is the list of the um, art or the musical pieces that we'll be listening to each week. And then down here I have what books I what books and other resources that I might be using. Um, I actually do have another picture book for the Beatles that I forgot to put down there. Um, but we're starting with that first one anyway. And then I also pulled up um my math <laughs> my math and I'll, I'll talk about that when i get to that in a minute okay because i'm trying to be flexible i am really hesitant to write things down in pen on here and so sometimes i'll write it down in pencil and then move it but that tends to get pretty messy so recently this is how i've been doing it i am going to use these sticky notes and then at the end of the week when we finished them, you can kind of take a peek here. I do write it in pen. Um, ideally, I do that every day as we're going. Um, unlike this past week when I tried to do it at the end of the week and then I'm sure I missed some of the stuff that we did. So there's that. But the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this perfect to-do list because that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to put it over here and as I am planning, I'm going to write down things that I need to do to prep. Okay, and then I'm going to use this here and this here and we'll do here. Just getting them all sorted here and for the baby, we'll just use this one. I like a little don't forget, don't forget the baby. Okay. So those are some sticky notes. I might pull out more later. We're going to see how it goes. Now, I do have an idea of the general structure I want for the week, although that is changing a little bit because I need to be spending more time on uh, garden stuff. Um, and also it does, I am flexible based on the weather, but general, generally, um, generally Mondays were like my field trip nature day. Tuesdays we did individual school with the kids in the morning, their skill subjects. Um, and then piano was in the afternoon, and especially when we were driving to piano, that was pretty much everything. That was the whole afternoon. Um, Wednesday was kind of group subjects and history, like history and morning time subjects. Thursday was more group subjects and individual school. And then Friday was basically whatever we didn't get to during the week. Ideally, if we got to everything in these other days, this would be like a free day to like clean and do projects. But Honestly, that doesn't happen as often as I would like. Um, so that's the general outline of how I'd like our week to go. But again, it changes week to week. So this week on Monday, again, we're not going on a field trip. Um, and it looks like it's supposed to be cold, high of 37, and it might snow in the afternoon or evening. Um, therefore, it would be a great day to sit by the fire and read and do some group subjects. So that's what I'm going to plan for Monday this week. So I'm going to put circle time. It's good to do that. We're going to do our literature book, which right now um, it's uh, we're doing it's um, one of our quiver of arrows and it's Young Fu of the Upper Yangtze. And if I look at my sheet here, um, I was supposed to do chapters three and four last week. We we're on this week here, week three in the term. Um, but I don't think I got to chapter four last week. Um, and I brought this down. This is the book so I could double check. And yes, I did not get to chapter four. So, um, ideally we'd get 
go through chapters four through six this week to catch up. But again, if we don't, we don't. Um, and so I am not planning on reading all those chapters tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down all these morning time activities I want to do and then um, try to get through as many of them as I can on Monday. And then after Monday's done, I'll write down what I did, check off anything we finished, and I'll move it down to what it, it's probably going to be Wednesday. Um, but that's how that's going to work. So Young Fu, chapters four through six this week. We've got our artist study, and we're doing Beatrix Potter as our artist right now. And so that... Let's see, so we've done, I should check these off. We've done mushroom paintings and we've done, they're just like sketches she did of mushrooms and then we've done uh, seen something of Peter Rabbit. So this week we're doing sketch of an onion bed. And so I'm going to make a note, Beatrix Potter, onion <laughs> and book. Um, we're just reading through, I have a bookmark um, who was Beatrix Potter right now. Um, I think the goal is to read two chapters a week, um, and so we'll we'll just see where we are, try to get through two chapters, and go from there. I am going to write down on my to-do list. I know that I have printed out Sketch of an Onion Bed. I'm pretty sure it's back here. Um, Yes, I have Sketch of an Onion Bed and I have Squirrel Nutkin printed out, but I haven't printed out the rest of these. So I'm going to make a note to myself that I would like to go ahead and print out some of my to do's the rest of the artwork. And I'd also like to hang them up where I normally hang them because I haven't gotten to that yet and we're in the third week. Okay, uh, Composer Study, The Beatles. We actually didn't do Hey Jude last week so and I have fewer songs we do I do have more Beatles songs on a mix that we've been listening to um that I made for them but I I only chose seven to focus on I don't really know why that's just just what happened so we're gonna go ahead and do Beatles um Hey Jude and the book that we're reading through um which is also a who was who was book right now um and i'm gonna need to find a bookmark for that so i'm gonna put that on my to-do list bookmark for the beatles okie dokie so let me put these aside and let's see what else we've got we're gonna do health this week so i'm gonna actually get out a new sticky note for that oh hold on before i do that um, I also, we're also reading through, this is, um, I'm missing the cover, but this is the complete tales of Beatrix Potter. I think we've only done the first story, which is Peter Rabbit so far. This was given to me by my grandmother and, um, she since passed away, but she wrote a note in there for me. She, um, was a home ec teacher and she taught a class on children's literature and this was one of the books she used. Um, so we're actually going to read... The Tale of I might wait until next week to read The Tale of Squirrel Nut Kid. We might do The Tailor of Gloucester. Glouc Am I saying that right? Gloucester? If you're English or you just know how to pronounce this, please tell me. I want to say Gloucester. Um, I could be completely wrong. So I might skip Squirrel Nut Kid this week and come back to it next week. Um, but yes, I'm going to um, read. I'll just, I'll just make a note that I'll read. I'll read some Beatrix Potter tale. Okay, let's see, Italian, this week, oh, I have to do some more prep work for Italian. Hold on a sec. Okay, Italian needs some work, to be honest. I'm going to make a note here to um, work on my Italian plan, but um, I'm going to just write Italian over here to make sure I do it. And um, these are some ideas for this week. I've got Dove La Mia Mamma. Um, we're going to be working, um, learning some about some animals in Italian, the names of the animals. So I'm going to look through these. I think it has like a um, going to the zoo song that we might do, Andiamo alla zoo. Um, and then I have this animal. It has like the, the um, it's like a board book quality and it's got 
different types of animals in here and then it has these matching cards so i might go through there's a lot of cards so i might just choose some to start with this week and then we can add as the week goes on because we're just starting with these animals um and then so i'm gonna write italian and i'm gonna i'm gonna come back to this stack myself after i'm done filming and go through this in more detail on exactly what i'm doing when but um, i made a note that i'm going to do italian during morning time there and then the other thing I have is I we use TalkBox Mom um, not as regularly as I would like. So um, I haven't done a review of it yet because I keep I keep wanting to use it more. But this week I'm going to I'm going to choose a phrase or two um, from this use Italian home book. And um, I was I was thinking, be careful. I, I find myself saying that a lot. Ah, careful. Be careful. Attenzione and stai attento. Or state attenti to two. So I'm going to take yet another sticky note. I think I'm going to use one of these big round ones. And let me just write here. I'm going to write attenzione. Stai. Attento, state, attenti. Okay. Yeah. And hopefully I could read that later. Um, let's see if I, I saw the one. Oh, that might be a good one. We'll come back to that one. Let's read together. I like that a lot. We're going to do that one. We're going to do Leggiamo Insieme. So I did study Italian in college, and I uh, spent a semester in Italy. While I'm talking about this, I am so sending prayers to the Italian people right now. But um, so I, I do have a basic idea of how to pronounce things and I have a vague memory, um, but I'm I'm no longer as good as I was and I'm not fluent. So um, I'm working on myself as well. I'm just gonna stick this here and I might uh, stick another one in um, my life planner, but hopefully this will remind me to say these things. Okay, so that's Italian. Let's move on to history, which is our unit right now, ancient China. Before I move on to history, I think I'm going to make a note. Um, I'm planning on doing health this week, and that is the water and electricity unit in the, um, it's the good and the beautiful's safety unit. So um, let me grab another, don't forget here and I'm not sure if we'll get to that on Monday. I'm going to just go ahead and stick it in on Wednesday because I don't think we'll get to it tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to do health and safety. And some other stuff needs prep too. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a note to prep health and, oh goodness, my handwriting is atrocious today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Prep health and safety there. Okay. So that's done. Now let me come back to history. And again, we're doing ancient China um, for third week. So there's a lot to get to. I think I'm going to do it over the course of a couple days. Um, so I'd want to do the Chilin purse um, more than one day. So I'm, but I'm just going to stick this in here. If we don't finish all of um, the stories in it, that's okay. So the Chilin Purse stories, story of writing. I wanted to do also paint some Chinese characters. Um, so I will put those together. I'm worried I'm not gonna have enough lines here, but that's <laughs> okay. Um, so then we've got the Great Wall books. So I have two Great Wall books. So I'm just going to say Great Wall books. Um, and they are on my unit shelf right now. So uh, I will see them both. So for the Great Wall books. And then um, Emperor Silent Army. And 
and then um let's see the terracotta project so i have i found a dig where like a dig kit um where you can dig out a terracotta soldier so i got one for the kids to share and then um if we have time we might also make our own terracotta soldiers with clay I, that sounded fun and then the last thing is day of the dragon king and actually i'm gonna start this one and this last one because it is a magic treehouse book and i would just prefer to not do it all in one sitting so i will do try to get to both of those first on monday and then uh, see what else we get to and then again like the morning time um i will probably move these i'll, I'll we'll get to what we can then i'll move it down to wednesday get to what we can and then move it keep moving it down until we get to everything i don't think i'm going to try to do science this week sometimes it's like honestly science is a thing that just naturally happens as far as nature study and everything so um if we do something i'll write it down but as of this point i'm not i'm not um planning on i'm not planning anything specific for, for science i'm hoping to get outside and do some yard work probably um thursday's supposed to be 52 and cloudy so thursday's probably going to be a day that um, we may take a break from doing some heavy school work maybe just do a few things or maybe just do individual school that's just something i have in my mind as i'm looking at my week but again i don't like to put anything down in pen so it's just it's just gonna stay like that for right now okay so those are our group subjects over here um art is actually right now like the terracotta armies and stuff so um, when we do it, sometimes I, if I, like, if I run out of room here, I might write it down over here, but usually I write it here and make a note here that we did art as part of, as part of history. Here's health. Um, PE will probably be running around outside this week. Um, we are so fortunate in this time to have a large piece of property and yard where my kids can run outside and not be near other people. So, um, that's a super easy way to get PE in physical, um, you know, physical education. And they may also ride their bikes. So um, that's my plan. But I, again, I don't schedule that in. Most days we try to go outside. Okay, timeline. Oh, I almost forgot. Timeline. So I have been actually doing the timeline cards towards the end of our unit because as we're reading, I find things that I want to add. So I need to do the China timeline pictures, print them out, and then I can have the kids color them this week. And I did, I have been making notes as we've been reading and I usually have this with me. Um, you can see I've been making, I've been making notes here. Um, well, I think it was one of the prior weeks I started making a note of the things I wanted to add. So I'll, I'll look over that, but okay. Um, and life skills, sometimes we do radish kit. Um, we're not this week. And if we do another life skill, I'll try to write it down. I don't always remember. Okay, so now individual school. So I'm going to go ahead and move these to Tuesday because we generally do, won't, we, we won't do them on Monday. Um, we're just going to start them on, well, okay, so the baby, let me start with the baby here. So I just want to remember to do a couple things with her. So I'll move this down the day and hopefully I'll do at least one of these things. Um, well, she, she's around with us for when we're doing our poetry and our singing and our reading and all that. So she's not, she's being exposed to lots of vocabulary and everything that they are being exposed to. Um, but I want to do a few things intentionally with her. So it's like read a baby book, um, sing, you know, some baby songs with her. And I had, had, I had more ideas. Um, I don't remember them right now. So, oh, just like some intentional play, um, maybe with her Imbricure box or something. So um, as she gets older and as a toddler, she will have like maybe once a day, a little activity. Um, I'll try to do another one of these then. Um, and then we can see more. Um, I will link here to my Montessori toddler uh, video um, activity video. And you can see there she's, she's um, nine months right now. And so she's too young for those activities that I have in that video. There is some Montessori baby stuff that I could do with her. Um, for the most part, it's just, um, you know, singing, smiling, laughing. We, you know, tickle the normal baby stuff. So and we do get to that throughout the day. It's just, I just want to have this note here to be intentional about it. Okay. So individual school for us is the skill subjects, which is math, um, reading, and writing. And... 
Um, so this is my daughter here again. She's in first grade and we're doing, we do two different things for reading and writing right now. And, um, because I've been doing individual school with them twice a week, um, I actually have her do both, both times. Um, I have her do a logic of English foundations lesson. So I just like to write LOE here and I'm going to check to see where we left off. Um, the last one was review G and before that we did lesson 75. So we must be on lesson 76. Um, and I'll want to do two lessons this week. So lesson 76 and 77. Nope. And we'll do quiver. And I have a note on here that this week I actually want to do the literature. Um, activities for quiver instead of the copy work so I will have to prep that as well I'm going to make a note literature and oh, quiver I always have to prep quiver anyway on a weekly basis I usually prep the copy work and French dictation that we do and then um, math so for math this week I want to do the stamp game with her so um I also have I also pulled out my um my math list here. Oop. I've got one for each child. So I've been I've been checking things off as we go. I actually um and I will link to how my how I'm doing math combining Charlotte Mason and Montessori video. Um, but recently, um, over the past few months, we've just been really relaxed with math. We've been doing a lot of mental math throughout the day, playing math games, which I do love, as well as, um, yeah, and, and then just like occasional math, math worksheets or, you know, it hasn't been as structured, um, which is fine. Honestly, she's at the age where she's uh, doing addition and subtraction, and we do have been doing a little bit of skip counting. Um, and just, she has the concepts for multiplication division, but we don't work them as much. Um, so I actually took last week, I took time to kind of go through and review addition, subtraction, some of these concepts to kind of see where she was and what we needed to work on more. And so, um, we're coming back to working more on the, um, addition and subtraction with tens where you're exchanging. So she can quite easily do ones that you don't need to exchange, but I just wanted to review with her a little bit more. Um, exchanging. So when you're doing subtraction and you have like, um, you know, 52 minus 17 and you have to unbundle a 10 basically. Um, so we're going to work on that a little bit more. And I think I'm going to pull the stamp game out this week to work on that. Um, and I also want to work with like writing numbers, not the symbols, but the actually um, the words for the numbers because um, that's not something we've gone over. She's done a couple of them in her logic of English, and some of them are more phonetic than others, but a lot of them are kind of tricky and use different rules. So I think I want to go through numbers. Um, yeah, I'll just start with one through 10, I think, and um, go from there. So we're writing that. So I think that's what I want to do this week. And then next week we'll go from there. Um, let me do with my son. We're also going to do we're also doing logic of English now with him. She's in foundations B. Honestly, she just has been moving so slow. He's in foundation A. Um, and I believe, let's see, the last one we did with him was not a review. It was less than 17. So yeah, 18 and 19 this week. Okay. And then um, honestly, in February, this, this winter, like the winter's always weird for me and we didn't do it as much as we should have, but you know what? It's okay. They're still learning and progressing. Um, he does not have quiver. Um, that's his reading and writing. And then recently I've been going back over his math as well, um, because I think he's ready to make a leap forward, but I just want to make sure, um, that he's solid in all the numbers. And I also want to make a video for you on Montessori numbers and um, how we use the materials and how we teach numbers with mo using Montessori method. Um, and so you can kind of see my my list here. I started filming him doing these lessons. I just went back to the beginning. It's easy for him. Um, but it's review for him, which is good. And I'm filming it for you as we go. So um, I'm just going to make a note Montessori numbers. 
and we are also writing, we're working on writing the actual symbols for the numbers with him. And he's almost at the point where I'm, I think I'm almost ready to get him his own math notebook. Um, but again, I, I want to kind of go through all this first to make sure he's good. Um, yeah, so I think, I think that's pretty much it for this week I had some other things I want to I wanted to throw in but I'm not sure if we're going to have time so I am going to make another sticky note I love these sticky notes um, I'm going to need to order a new set of these sticky notes I think well I'm not that low yet but I worry I worry about running out um, down here I'm going to put that I would like to do, um, I'd like to review time. We've been doing a couple math units this year and time is the first one we did and I kind of want to come back and review them a little bit. So maybe we'll play a game. We have a time telling game. So I'd like to do that. Um, and I have some kindness books that I would also like to read. Um, I kind of went a little crazy at Barnes and Nobles a couple weeks ago when I took my son for a mother's son date and they had all these kindness books. So <laughs> we read one already and I have them on the shelf so we can read them. So, um, that's kind of a morning time activity and who knows, I might even do this earlier, but that's fine. And then maybe another math game of the children's choosing, um, you know, last week for one of his math ses sessions, I just had him play um, the card game War. But we also have some actual physical board games and other card games that are great math games. And that is another idea for a video. But I think that's what my week is looking like. Um, again, I'm I'm thinking, and you know what, I'll use one of these tiny little tags here. Whoop. The, I have to say, Aaron Contra, these these ones, because they're like full sticky on the back. So they are just harder so those those don't work as well. These are small for this, but they um they fit here perfectly. So just in case you're wondering what that specific sticker was for, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it this way. And I'm gonna say outside day. That's my plan. I got some branches to cut and some other things to prep. So Okay, well, that is what my planning and prep work looks like. I'm gonna get myself some lunch and then I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some of this prep work so it's all ready to go. That's where I'm gonna stop the video today. I am going to be working on um, some videos on planning uh, curriculum in, as a whole, not just my weekly planning, like how I come up with all these lists and, um, and this here. So, um, you know, stay tuned for that. I haven't quite started. I have some vague ideas for I've I've ideas for next year, but I haven't started really planning yet. So I will start filming when I do start planning. Um, but um, well, well, give me a couple weeks before I do that. Hopefully that was helpful or at least interesting. I love seeing how other people plan. And uh, even if their brains work a little differently than me, sometimes I get some great ideas. So hopefully you did too. If you've gotten this far in the video, please hit that like button below. Comment if you have any comments or questions. I'm wishing you all safety and health and a wonderful week, and I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.